The French Defence Council will be meeting this Monday. The gathering comes days after France ramped up its support of Ukraine and increased sanctions on Russia. Paris has also said it will send arms and additional defence equipment to Ukraine. For more on what we can expect, we can go across to France 24's Ellen Gainsford standing by. Ellen, tell us more. Hello, Delano. That's right. I'm here outside the Elysee Palace, ahead of that meeting of France's Defence Council, which is set to start at 11 a.m. this morning. And um, it's the third time that this group has been convened since Russia invaded Ukraine on Thursday, and the fifth time uh, just in the last week. And this group consists of uh, the French president and a group of core ministers around him. That includes the economy minister, the minister of the uh, defence, and uh, the interior minister, among others. And um, we've heard in a statement from the Elysee Palace that uh, today they're going to be touching on some of the themes that were discussed over the weekend. Well, that includes uh, the supplying of arms to Ukraine. And of course, France is going to be taking part in that uh, 450 million euro uh, package that was agreed by the EU on Sunday to uh, supply arms to Ukraine. And that's uh, the first time in the bloc's history that this has happened. What also discussed over the weekend was uh, the toughening of economic sanctions uh, against Russia and uh, with France moving to uh, agree to ban Russia from the international SWIFT uh, payment system. Well, um, we know that on the agenda for Emmanuel Macron later today, he'll be taking part in that emergency meeting of the UN Security Council, which he himself convened. And that's going to be looking at the humanitarian crisis and uh, hoping to create uh, humanitarian corridors uh, for aid to get into the country. Well, um, we know that around 400,000 people have fled from Ukraine uh, just in the past few days. And according to the UNHCR, if the conflict continues, that number could reach as many as 4 million. Ellen, thank you very much for that update. Ellen Gainsford reporting there from outside the Elysee Palace.